All right, we've got this set up now with uh, 125 and a half pounds. It's <laughs> way beyond what uh, my plywood and pipes. And, and of course, this is by no means a correct design. There's, if you're imitating this, you're making a mistake. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, it's it's suitable for the point. Now. It's tough to start 125 pounds from zero with only a 4 watt motor, but we'll do it here, see what we can do. I don't like doing this because the setup I have is so handmade that I'm always afraid of something snapping or giving out, but I know a lot of people say, oh, well, you can't accelerate it and so forth. You, you can. I, I usually just give it that push at the beginning to save you all three or four minutes of sitting as we work it up to speed. Remember a gravity motor, uh, I was just talking to a friend yesterday, I said, I'm not quite sure why the whole aspect of starting it is a key point to people. You're only supposed to start it once in your life. <laughs> so it's not the most critical thing that, hey, we need to start it, stop it left and right. Um, yeah, okay, you can do that, and there will be a lot of devices, of course, where that's useful, but... So, let's start seeing where we're getting at here. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, yeah, so we're not up to thirty yet. We'll let her do her business. She'll usually work up to thirty. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, well, we're getting there. Now, I want to show you up top, too. This is... Again, this motor can't do over, uh, well, it's rated at 12 volts, uh, 0.35 amps, although you see we're, <laughs> we're pushing her pretty hard there. And that's a Doc Watson meter you're looking at, very standard commercially available product on the upper left it's showing you the instantaneous watts on the right it's showing instantaneous amps and in the right bottom it's showing instantaneous volts at the left bottom it's showing cumulative tables of kilowatt hours amp hours and so forth and so as you see we're only using three four three point two you know we're, we're very low wattage here I actually just saw we exceeded what this motor's rated at, so that's interesting. Not much, big deal. We went instead of 4.2, we kissed a few extra tenths. There's a 4.5. I thought I just saw a flash by. Yeah, interesting. We all learn something, don't we? <laughs> so let's count it here: one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one. And we're accelerating, folks. That's a 60 RPM motor. Will continue to accelerate. Remember, the weights are falling. They don't fall as far as you do when you jump out of a plane, I'm afraid. So, it takes a little bit. So, again, people have said, oh, well, that device can't accelerate a weight. That's 125.5 pounds on steel plumbing pipes which are not the lightest thing in the world. Rotating now way in excess of 30 RPM. I haven't even done the math on that, folks, but I can already tell you, let's see. Uh, even if we do our kick for the moment and every game you can come up with, I guarantee you that's a thousand watts of power right there. And we are at 4.2, 2, 3.0, 4.2, 2.8, 3.0. We've never exceeded five watts of power to accelerate that mass to one one thousand, two one thousand. Well, we have way over. We're heading into the forties. We're heading towards sixty again, which will be the top operational speed of that motor. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four. Yeah. What you're seeing right there. Without the use of the John device and without some other fuel source of 
gas or solar or whatever, that cannot happen with your watch. It is impossible for you to be seeing what you are seeing, unless, as I already stated, <laughs> gravity is pulling the weights down. Again, to reiterate, I'm rotating the plane, the hill, if you will. We know you can't normally use gravity power because you have to get back uphill. That's always the problem with this rainfall. It has to get back uphill. When it's high, everything has to get back uphill. Except the John device. Because we move the hill and let the weights do their own business with gravity. So you can do your math. You just watched it yourself. That was an acceleration from zero to 30. By the way, a lot of people, when they do their force equals mass times acceleration, mistakenly believe what I just showed was, well, that was acceleration, but they equate that to acceleration all the time. This device right now is exhibiting centripetal acceleration because it's rotating in a circle. Um, so again, some people have commented, well, force equals mass times acceleration. Well, that technically means they don't understand the word acceleration as it's used scientifically. I mean, I understand that. Um, it doesn't even make sense. You say if it's at the same speed, how can it be accelerated? Well, again, that's just a terminology game. So there you have it. I wanted to show you a self-running, self-starting. <laughs> Some people have said, hey, that thing didn't start. He touched it with his hand. Well, yeah, thank you. And again, we have not exceeded five watts at any point. It's impossible with this motor. Sorry, I thought it was 4.2, but we exceeded the design spec of the motor, so that's good to know. But we never exceeded five watts of power. Right now we're at uh, 2.4, 3.1, 2.4, 3.7. .5. And this, you're getting some inherent issues with that up and down because of the design and because it was made out of homemade motors and whatever. One one thousand. Yeah, we're probably up to 45 RPM, I think. One one thousand. Yeah, I'll say 45, heading towards 60. And that is the John device. Also, at this point, I want to just mention a lot of people, and we're getting there. I've got a generator and a planetary gear coming. But people will say this does not have any load. <laughs> Let me tell you a story. The other day, I was working on this, setting this up with all these weights. And I was down underneath there, putting the weights on the arms and getting it set up. And my mechanism at the top, which is made from two upside down chair rollers that have been cannibalized, uh, folded so the arm gave out. And in just a second, I went from the beautifully running John device that uh, a child can operate to sitting under there with 125 plus pounds of pipes and weights on my lap. <laughs> And uh, it, it was an interesting thing to, to experience that uh, the weightlessness, the effortlessness of the John device to shattering weight and the weights are screwed on the end so I had to try to pull the caps off and kick the weights off as I was burying myself from 125 pounds of weight plates which was kind of common. Now I'm also at the end of this video, we've been going for a while, now this will go, right now we're at uh, about 2 watts, we're doing pretty steady, it's still accelerating, see if I want to stabilize this, I can slow, turn this down, and when we go into that sort of, as people think of the maintenance, if you will, no load, see now we'll drop down, I'm not even, I'm at 0.5 watts, 0.4, of course the inertia of this mass this far from the center is quite enormous. 
um, the inertia people too, when you do a balanced mass, a lot of people do the straight rod, which I do in my mind. Oh, the gear just popped right up there. <laughs> and hey, that's as good a time as any. I'll turn it off. I don't know what popped there. Somebody, somebody jumped. Oh, look at that. I finally broke my thing off. That's okay. Because we got the video we needed, right, folks? Now, as it stops here, I want to show, because people say, hey, I saw them start it up, and I, but I don't even know those are real weights. And I know you don't. Oops, there I got some arm. These are just screwed together, so I'm just going to do the best I can, I guess. To... Well, these are steel. And that's only a two and a half pounder, and it's pretty evident that that's a real thing. Here's two and a half pounders. Seven and a half. I think you can hear that on the plywood, can't you? I have to kind of disassemble it piece by piece, or I'll end up with another lap full. You see the arms? Oh, sorry. Bent because I haven't welded this in any final setup or anything. Why should I? The arms are the wrong angle. Everything's wrong. Here's a fourteen point three. I'm going to take those off in sequence because they're pretty big. I want to up more than I have to. 14, 3, 10, 10. system itself in case you think that there's some the system falling apart <laughs> from trying to run 125 pounds on plumbing pipes and this just these weights just hold this this had a generator over here so I don't want it to flip up that right there is not on the thing and in case you wonder if there's some hidden aspect to this there is not That is the John device, and I'm David John. Get ready for the new world. <laughs> it's going to be quite a ride. <laughs>